Mingle la ba, welcome to me and ma. My name is Paddy and this is Steve hey. and you are about to watch our amazing adventures here in the beautiful country of Myanmar aka Burma but just a quick disclaimer guys there are certain areas of this country that you cannot travel to for good reason so like us please do your own research before you come to this country so that you can have an amazing and safe time just like we've been doing. For those wondering where Tais and Lena are, unfortunately they couldn't take the time to come on this trip, but don't worry, we will be reunited all together back for season three early next year. So, without further ado, let's roll the intro. Backpackers food staple. Cheese and uh, onion. Cheese and onion? <laughs> cheese and uh, cheese and hantosi. I think Try I it. This is like the, the, the staple of any backpacker in Asia. Come on. Steve, are you excited? Oh, I'm very excited. As I'm always about any trip, excited, nervous, anxious, going to a new country. I mean, every single time I go to a new country, it's normally brilliant. I have the best time, but I'm always so nervous when I go to a new place. The best part about it for me is the unknown. We really don't know what's gonna happen. We don't. We got each other. That's all we need. Oh, oh, don't let her. Yeah, we're just gonna finish our breakfast. Head on to Burma, bro. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> I paid for that chair. That was a prop on the budget. Day one was already shaping up to be an interesting start. And all we had to do was drive around the corner to catch our bus to the border. But in typical budgeteer style, nothing ever goes according to plan. Sorry, Steve. Thank you. Right, we're right here anyway. All right. Well, accident. <laughs> here, I'm holding this up. Can I let go? Yeah, 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 let go. We're fine, don't worry, Mum. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Good start. After Patty narrowly avoided getting us both flattened by a bus, we quickly dusted ourselves off and proceeded to jump on a $10 bus ride six hours south to the border town of Mesat. We decided to cross over land to save money on flights, plus land crossings are always way more fun anyway. Alright, so that bus was really long and boring and annoying but six hours later we've made it to Mesot. We've just met these two guys, Nick yeah, and Ben. ben. Yeah. There's always someone who's doing something cooler than you. What you got, what, tell them what you've been up to. Uh, we drove a Volkswagen car from the Netherlands to uh, Burma. How long has it taken? Six months. <laughs> six months. <laughs> okay, no. 33,000 kilometers. 33,000 kilometers in yeah. that little thing. 19 flat tires. You make on YouTube videos as well? Yeah, what's just some small one. Yeah, no worries. What's the, what's the name of the channel? Driving the Scenic Route. Check out these guys. That's amazing, guys. Good luck. But yeah, awesome to meet you guys. Yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, we're crossing the border now. This is the bridge across the river. Yeah. And then we're going to be in Burma, but let's just wait because immigration sometimes yeah. doesn't go very well on this channel. We're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're not there yet. All right, so we made it across the border. No problems, no issues. Uh, one thing you do need to know if you do come to Myanmar, you need to apply for a visa ahead of time. For here in Myanmar, we had to pay $50 and we had to organize it ahead of time. Uh, but yeah, we did it. We're here now. So let's go explore. Where's the bank? ATM. Huh? Uh, money. We need money. <laughs> so, <laughs> did, we've got to help her. We're trying to get money out. But like any town on the border, it's sketchy. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks legit. Cool. This lovely lady at the borders changing us money. After this, we'll figure out where we should go. Because I've got a map, a trusty map, Steve. Everybody at this border town is actually quite helpful. We've got a guy here. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, doesn't speak English, never mind. I love maps, so check this out. Right now, we are... We just crossed the border, so right now we're here. So we might as well just go to this town. Is this called Hapan or Pan? Yeah, Pan. The pronouns is Pan, not Hapan. We can't go over there. That's that's. Uh, we're not even allowed to go there. And then up there is where it's really... Dangerous, so we're not going to go over there. And the Western part is not easy for now in Myanmar. Yeah. Just only small bit. The other bit is safe for you. Yeah, so like stay in the middle. Yep. All right, so staying cool. in the middle is going to be safe, he says, which is good. Yeah, Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. How do you say thank you in, in Myanmar? In Myanmar. Jesuba. Jesuba. Yes. Jesuba. Bye bye. They kept pointing at my bag. I had some fruit in there, so I gave them some fruit. <laughs> Border crossings, let's go, it's fine. Ah. Normally border crossing towns are sketchy as fuck, but this guy's been helping us. Yeah, everybody's been extremely helpful. The girls at the currency exchange were super hot. What's up? <laughs> yeah, the girls over there were beautiful. So this guy, he's helping us. What's your name again? I forgot. My name is Two. Yeah. Nice to meet you, my name is Two from the border. <laughs> yeah, this town's cool, I like it. I like Burma already a lot. This is gonna be our driver, Mr. Beauty. Look at his handsome face. Um, apparently he's a licensed dark driver, um, safe, gonna take us to Ha'an. Yes. About four hours? Yes, from here to Ha'an is a four hour. Now normally we actually stand on the road and we hitchhike. Yeah. Is that possible in Burma? <laughs> this is a little bit dangerous in the borderline. At the borderline. If you want to go hitchhike, it is some is jungle and Mandalay is somewhere you can a bit go safer there. hitchhike. Yeah. You know, in the way and the road is a lot of man, a lot of boom. So <laughs> a lot of boom. Yeah. Okay, because that of sounds this is bad. <laughs> before is that you just are three or four years in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is borderline. No, don't worry. We're, we're we're here to have a good time. I'm sure we're gonna have a great time here. Is she going to be able to see? Mingalaba. 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 Okay, my friend. Yeah, Hello. thank you. Thank you. Good journey. Yeah, safe journey, hopefully. All right, so Mr. Beauty set us up with a nice ride here with some lovely ladies. Mingalaba. <laughs> we could have just faked it and said that we got picked up by this family, but we want to be honest in this, in this video and show you that, you know, we didn't hitchhike. We, we actually paid for this yeah, ride. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it's like 10 bucks. Yeah. After a successful and pretty cool border crossing, we then spent the next four and a half hours all the way through the gorgeous mountains, beautiful sunsets, and one hell of a bumpy road. We were super pumped to be in Myanmar and excited to wake up the next day and experience our first taste of a Burmese town. Why did he come to Myanmar? came to Myanmar because it's one of the less touristy places in Southeast Asia. It's an untouched world. It's just a very warm, friendly place. 
I came to Myanmar because everyone raves about it and says Burmese people are the nicest people they've ever met. Day two here in Burma, Myanmar. Great start yesterday. Brilliant border crossing. Fun, interesting place. Fun, interesting people. If you actually look on the map, you can see that we haven't actually gone that far. The distance wise, it's not far, but it took us so long. So here we are in this like gloomy, rainy day, miserable looking kind of town. Doesn't look like there's much going on here. It's pretty rustic looking. I've seen a few backpackers through here though last night having beers. We didn't really talk to anyone. We were just like eat beer, go to sleep because we were pretty tired coming all the way from Chiang Mai. I'm really looking forward to traveling in Burma. And I'm really looking forward to traveling with Steve. Like I've never traveled with Steve before. He's got a heart of gold. He's really bubbly. He's got loads of energy. He's really polite. He's really nice to everybody. Uh, it kind of makes me look like a miserable bastard. I'm really looking forward to see how we get on on this trip because I'm so fussy when it comes to people I travel with. And uh, I really like to travel with people who are quite mellow, like Ties and Lena. <laughs> His personality is like really infectious. Like at first you're a bit like, whoa, this guy is full on. You know, and I just look at him playing with a kid in the back of the seat all the way through the car journey last night. And uh, yeah, he's just a, such a nice guy. I'm really excited to be traveling with him. Hopefully he doesn't annoy me too much. <laughs> I think hopefully if the weather holds, we might rent a motorbike and drive around and explore this town. First things first, let's go wake up Steve and get some breakfast. Ding. He's alive! Hey, 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 hey! Just packing for the day, getting ready for an adventure! <laughs> Have you got your adventure hat? Oh, you know <laughs> I got my adventure hat, boy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, Steve, this is our room. Why don't you do a nice hotel room tour for, so, was it $9? $18 for this room? This yeah, place? $18, $9 each. Um, yeah, so let's start from the beginning with this lovely red, beautiful. Looks like an outside wow, door. Wow, it's a door! It's a door! <laughs> we walk right through the hallway, right to the master bedroom. As you can see, it's an exotic location with some fancy mold all over the wall. It's very good to inhale. It wakes you up in the middle of night. The air condition says it's at 20 degrees. It's pretty much at like negative two. So I think Patty's shoulder was frozen when he woke up this morning because it was just blowing straight down on us. There's a light that either on or off, it's always on. But my favorite part about this bathroom is we have the softest toilet paper in the world. <laughs> Look at this thing, this is the most rigid sandpaper. Oh, that's, that's nice, someone's, it's, it's, this is great. I love this place. <laughs> The plan is we're going, we're packing up a bag right now, an adventure bag, because we're just gonna rent a motorbike from this hotel and explore Patan. Patan? 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 That's our first real day in Burma, so we're super stoked. And he's got his adventure hat, so you know you it's know gonna what be that legit. means adventure we're about to go explore. We quickly jumped on a rental motorbike, which cost us only $5 for the day, and started to explore the surrounding areas of Pan. But it wasn't long before Patty got us completely lost, and we ended up in a random Burmese farm. So, 10 minutes into our little adventure, we're already lost. They gave us this map, which is just not very helpful. But as you can see, like this place is just ridiculous. Kind of limestone cliffs everywhere. Hi. Hi. We're trying to find this temple called. Now I don't know if it's called a temple or if it's called a pagoda yet. We're going to figure that out on this trip because they're different to the ones in Thailand. But there's one called chocolate. It's not spelt like that. But the, the lady in the hostel said she said it's really beautiful. So we're trying to find it. So maybe we'll go down here, make a right because this is not useful. I know we're going in the wrong direction. Too. But look at this place.
I'm over here with Cabanillo. Just like India, stopping and taking photos with the locals. <laughs> Doesn't want to fire with me though. So right now we are at Chocolate Pagoda, or at least that's what we think it's called. It's about 30 kilometers from the town center and it was a beautiful ride to get here. Uh, we just walked up to the top there. We weren't allowed to film because this is a very sacred and religious place, so we wanted to respect everybody's privacy and yeah, as you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying this amazing pagoda and exploring some more of the area. As we drove around some more, we couldn't take our eyes off the giant mountain that overlooks Pan. As daunting as it seems, we heard you can climb all the way to the top and enjoy one of the best sunsets on earth. Eventually, we found the start of the trail amongst thousands of beautiful Buddha statues, so we took it all in before our dreaded climb to the top of Mount Shwegaven. Alright, so our journey up this crazy mountain. <laughs> Where is it? Even goes like all the way, I don't know, it's all the way up there. It's so far it's very away. high up. But we're about to begin right now, so let's Wish do it. luck. So we keep seeing these bricks um, in each checkpoint that we see on the way up here. Maybe everybody who comes up here brings up two bricks um, and leaves them at certain checkpoints to save the monks and the people who live at the top of here from having to come all the way down to get stuff when they need repairs. But anyway, onwards and upwards. We must get to the summit before sunset. Here's the shade. The adventure head is great and everything, but it's not letting any heat escape from my head, so it's time to do without. Just kidding, I'm not throwing it, I'm keeping it. Whoa. Clip. Better than staying in an office. Yeah, fuck yeah. Just like when you're. I'm going, I'm like, fuck, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. And then I pause for a minute. And Remember that you're climbing up a, yeah. an amazing yeah. mountain in the middle of nowhere. Amazing. No one around. Woo! Woo no, I would just quiet it down on the insects. Now they've come back up. Oh, what's this? Ready? Woo! No, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, wow. You travel when you're young because you work all your life, save up loads of money, retire at 50 or 60, come to Burma, can't make it up here at that age, knees are gone, back's fucked. Travel when you're young, guys, because we're struggling <laughs> and we're in our prime. Fuck me. Oi! Oh, fuck, okay. We think. We're almost somewhere, hopefully. I just keep thinking, we're walking up there. It's a temple, there's gonna be no cold beer up there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Less than 100 steps left. Almost there. I'm doing it for the beer. I definitely got beer. Otherwise this whole thing Waste the time. Oh. 
We made it. Yeah, that, that's the view right there, like, wow! No beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. No beautiful. These guys are just having a shower. So that. Okay, and what's your name? Yeah. Tekru. Tekru. Tekru, and? I'm Moti. Moti? Yes, my name Moti. Nice to meet you, Moti. I'm Paddy. Paddy. No, 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 Paddy. Paddy. Oh, Paddy. Yeah, Paddy, Paddy, that'll do. <laughs> Rock and roll, getting your haircut on top of a mountain by your brother. Yeah, I'm gonna plan. Yeah. Fresh to death. <gasps> Look, there's a little bit more of a view now. Do you know what time the cloud goes away? Hmm? Yeah, like six o'clock, seven o'clock? Seven o'clock. Okay, cool. Thanks for telling me. Mm. You can see the cloud. <gasps> it's revealing itself. Maybe we'll get lucky. Look, there's a bit of sun coming up there. <sighs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Looking at that word, and looking at that word, which one is boys? Mm. This one or this one? So this means boys, boys. or men's. Yeah. I one think woman. that looks like a dick, so that kind of that's an easy way to remember. You need to go in here and piss down the drain, like medieval English style. Excuse me while I go for a piss. What the hell is going on over here? There's a western guy climbing on a pole. Well done! What are you doing, bro? I don't know, they tell me to do it. Okay. <laughs> Look at these guys just chilling, there's a monkey under there. One more time? I got you, bro. Climbing up to the clouds. <laughs> High five, mate. I could never do that in a million years. <laughs> oh, here we go. This guy's going to show you how it's done. <laughs> up he goes. Oh, put your chin up there. Hi. Whoa. Yeah, I can't do it. I've got a bad wrist. All right, got a bad wrist. Wristy boy, they call me. All right, so here are these backpackers we met. They came up the other way, right? Yes. So this is Trevor. Yep. And Nicole. Both from Alaska. We came up that way, and you guys came up that way. We came up the hard way. And what do you feel about coming all the way up for this beautiful view? I think it's amazing. Did you know this pagoda is 2,500 years old? Did you know that this pagoda was 2,005 years old? What else do you know about it? Um, it's got one of Buddha's hairs in it. Yeah. It's got one of Buddha's hairs in it? Yeah. Did you know that, Steve? Yeah. So it's built around you one know? of Buddha's hairs. Yeah. Safe journey back down. And maybe yeah. we'll see you on the road. Yes, probably. Steve's yeah, possibly. Got, Steve's got a producer now, look. Hey, my buddy. <laughs> What's your name? Toam. Toam. Yeah, Livy, yes. Uh, Swiss uh, Pa'a. Yeah. You live here uh, one year and two years. <laughs> one year and two years. <laughs> Very good. Very yeah. good. Which is on a scale that I've never seen before. <laughs> From one to cloudage, how much are you fine? We may not have seen the sunset we hoped for, but we still had an unforgettable experience meeting some great people up in the clouds. What's your favorite thing about Myanmar? My favorite thing about Myanmar is that you can still see a lot of local costume, like traditional dressing and stuff. It's awesome. My favorite thing about Myanmar is the fact that it's still kind of raw, uncut, pure Southeast Asia. No, I don't have an answer. Mingalaba. Mingalaba. Day three here. One of the most amazing things happened this morning. I'm lying in my bed <laughs> and I hear this beautiful music. This, like it sounded like an old lady or an old man or something singing on a wooden flute. And it was so peaceful. I thought I was dreaming, but then I realized it was coming from outside. And I went downstairs and it was just the 
bin truck, like <laughs> the bin truck was crawling down the road, dead quietly, playing this beautiful music. All of the local people were putting in the rubbish themselves, quietly. It was just amazing. Like, how many times do you get woken up with the bin men clattering and making oh, a bunch of noise? Far too many times. This was Not like... angry. Yeah, it was super angry. Again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, why don't we do that back home? <laughs> Shush. Be like the bin men. We're gonna have breakfast, go wake up Steve, figure out what we want to do today for our, probably our last day here in Pan. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, while Steve is getting his beauty sleep, I mm. mean, uh, Trevor here, I'm gonna enjoy breakfast. After Patty's fascination of the local garbage trucks faded, he eventually came and woke me up, and we grabbed some local street food for breakfast. We decided that since this little town seemed full of surprises, we would just rent out the bike again, drive around and see what we could find. Can't speak the language, but everybody speaks football. So. Pa'an is absolutely incredible. And if you love nature like we do, you gotta come visit this stunning place. So we've been enjoying the lovely drive around Pa'an once again. And we saw a sign back there for a uh, cave. Cave. Yeah, so we thought, well, why don't we go check that out? Caves are pretty scary, pretty cool. Hopefully we'll have a good time, but yeah, just enjoying this country road. You enjoying yourself, Stevie boy? Yeah, we saw a snake. Yeah. It's cool. On the countryside here in Burma. It's gorgeous here, guys. You've got to come here. Everyone's waving at us, smiling as we're driving yeah, along. Yeah, everyone's so friendly. It's just a nice place to be. Really, really amazing. Definitely. found ourselves at the foot of the beautifully yet spooky Sedan Cave. We parked up and nervously started to explore. Every single day is something unpredictable. One of the things, now I don't want to scare you Steve, but I always wonder if there's an earthquake right now, we all get completely squashed. All these rocks just cave in. So I'm always a little bit claustrophobic inside a cave. I never even considered that, so thanks for putting that in my mind. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear these bats right here, right above us. So we just got out of the cave. Now, we paid a few bucks for this guy to take us back to the beginning, but we're gonna take a new route, which is the water route. <laughs> Steve, just tilt your hat this way, sir. Come here a bit closer. I'm not even kidding. A bat is shat on your hat. <laughs> Look at this. Better take off your hat and have a look. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> There's worse ways to spend your afternoon. This is great. Yeah, Patty, stop washing your face and <laughs> look behind you. Oh, fuck. Are we going under this? All right. <laughs> Welcome to me, Ma. <gasps> Woo! Leon, son. This is nice. Wow. This is cool.
this is the end of the ride. We're gonna head back to town, get some food. Uh, tonight we're getting on a night bus and we'll see you in Yangon. Coming up on Welcome to Myanmar. We arrive in the bustling city of Yangon. Banana land! <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. Where we explore some of the undiscovered suburbs and eat our body weight in local cuisine. <laughs> ten. So we're going ten more stations. We hitchhike all the way up to Bagan. It doesn't really get much better than this. Myanmar is definitely Southeast Asia's last hidden gem. And then we find ourselves in the deep jungles of the north where cracks between us start to form. For me, the most challenging part of this trip was always going to be travelling with Steve. Same as me, we'll see things I never see. You and I 